welcome back to my channel. Guys, thank you so much. I reached 20 subscribers today. Thank you so much. I, I can't thank you enough. You guys are the best people ever. And I decided I need to do a video for that. Yes, I could just do a normal cliche thank you video, but I'm actually going to do something that I don't normally do on my channel, which is a ranking video. I'm going to be ranking my top five favorite shark movies. These are not ranked by critic scores. I'm not going to rank these by what they have on IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic. I'm not going to be ranking them by that. These are just my personal picks of my top five favorite shark movies. So without further ado, let's get into it. Coming in at number five is going to be Deep Blue Sea. Now you might be a little surprised to see this movie on here because it, it really doesn't hold up. It's so stupid. It's so cheesy. Some of the acting is really bad, but I mean, you can't say no to the scene with Samuel L. Jackson. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, it's cheesy, it's stupid, it doesn't hold up, but I kind of love it for that. I love the cheesiness of it. I love how stupid and implausible it is, and it's just so entertaining to watch. And in a world full of shark movies that try to actually be good and then just don't turn out good, this movie isn't trying to be an Oscar-worthy masterpiece. No, it's just trying to be an entertaining shark movie. And you know what? It got the job done. Coming in at number four is gonna be Jaws 2. Now, I feel like everyone includes this movie on a top five shark movies list just because Jaws 2 isn't terrible. I don't hate it. In fact, I think it is an okay movie. It's not a good movie. It's an okay movie. It is a watchable movie and that's mostly due to Roy Scheider coming back as Chief Brody. I just love that character. He's a very talented actor and it's it's great to see him going through this situation again. The town may be thinking that he's paranoid because of the events of Jaws. It's a really good theme in the movie and it, it really entertained me in kind of a strange way. I just like paranoia type movies. The only thing that I hate, like downright hate about this movie, is the shark. It's the same shark from the original Jaws. Within the story of the Jaws universe, it is the same shark, which is completely implausible because yes, the shark in this movie has a huge bloody scar on the side of its face from the first movie. Spoilers if you haven't seen Jaws, but if you haven't, what are you doing? In the first movie, Roy Scheider shot the tank that was in the shark's mouth and it blew the shark to bits. In this movie, it's telling you that it only, like, tore off some of the skin right here, which is completely impossible because that tank was all the way in the shark's mouth when it got shot, and you saw the body just explode into blood and guts. So... It's very implausible, but that's the only thing I really hate about Jaws 2. Everything else is just kind of mediocre. Coming in at number three is a movie that not a lot of people have actually seen, and I wish that was different, but nevertheless, it is The Reef. You look at the cover of this movie and you're just like, again, Stop with the cheesy shark movie. Stop with the stupid CGI shark stuff. It's stupid. No, this movie actually brought back the anxiety that the original Jaws gave me. And a lot of that is due to the fact that they used real footage of real great white sharks. Similar to Open Water, but this that, that movie isn't going to be on this list, by the way. I'm sorry, I know it's based on a true story. I just... I don't, I think it was sloppily filmed, sloppily edited. I, I, I just don't like that movie. Back to the reef, though. They took the real footage of sharks. They didn't CG create the sharks, they just pasted them into the footage of the actors in the movie in the water. And then they just blended it together, which I can actually do that like right now on my Mac. I can just go into iMovie and do that. It's really cool to know that it's so easy just to do something like that and then you can get a great product out of it. Now there is some underdeveloped human drama in this movie, which by the way, this movie is also based on a true story and that just makes it all the more terrifying. But they tried to incorporate some personal drama between the characters that you really just don't connect to. It's super underdeveloped. You do care about these characters because if you read the actual story, it gives the actual people's backstory. And I read the article before I watched the movie, so in that sense, I did care about these people. But if you're someone who goes in watching this movie without having read the true story, without having read the article, you're not gonna give a crap about any of them. They're still likable characters, though, but back to the suspense part, this movie is insanely suspenseful, and I love it. Coming in at number two is going to be the 
The Shallows. Guys, I'm sorry. I love this movie. I just absolutely love it. There is some iffy CG towards the final act, but it isn't bad. Like, I still believe there was a shark there. There's just a few shots where you can tell, yeah, that CG, but it doesn't take you out of the movie. A lot of people think the way something happens in this movie, like, it's something that happens in every shark movie, and none of them ever do it different. They always do it the same way, but the way it happened in this movie was so original. I didn't expect it at all, and I loved it, even though a lot of people complained about it being cheesy or implausible. I loved it. Plus, this is also an isolation movie. Movie. It's one character in one location in one really, really bad situation. In fact, my last movie review for Hush, it's basically Hush, but in the ocean on a rock. Because in Hush, if she leaves the house, the guy's gonna kill her. In the shallows, if she leaves the rock, the shark's gonna kill her. It's a similar situation. Also, I think a thing about this movie that gets really overlooked is actually the score. Now, this score is actually composed by Marco Beltrami, who also did the score for the Scream franchise. Scream 3 was... Ugh. Marco Beltrami's scores in all of them were great. No different with this movie. There is a scene at the end of this movie, no spoilers, but there is a scene at the end of this movie where the main character Nancy makes a decision and she's just like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna take this anymore. I'm going to fight back. The score in that scene was masterful. Unfortunately, I can't buy it on iTunes or on Android. Please, please, I know this movie came out three years ago as of my recording of this video, but please, please make that soundtrack available on iTunes. There's also some really good human drama in here about why Nancy is at this secluded beach and why she's alone. And you really do feel for her character and you really do want her to get out of it at the end. Plus, I mean, you can't beat the song Bird Set Free by Sia that plays over the end credits. I sing for love. This movie is also beautifully shot. It's directed by Wame Colette Serra. It may be Jean Colette Serra. I'm gonna go with Jean Colette Serra because that's how some of his associates pronounce it. And he, in my opinion, is a very underrated director. He directed the great action thriller Nonstop, Run All Night, most recently The Commuter. He just makes a lot of really underrated films that are so entertaining and so suspenseful. And I actually do believe that The Shallows is his best movie. All right, this is where the unpopular opinion comes in. The number one shark movie of all time, in my opinion, isn't Jaws. Ooh, wow, that's a big statement, isn't it? No, it is actually Shark NATO. I'm sorry, guys. I, I know it's such a controversial opinion, but I just love Shark... No, I'm not fooling anybody. No, it's Jaws. Do I even need to explain why it's Jaws? I mean, it's Jaws. How can you not love Jaws? It is a masterpiece in suspense, comedy, action. It's like everything is just like one giant ball of mastery. And you know what? That's all I'm gonna say, because if you haven't seen Jaws, what are you doing with your life? If you haven't, go watch it. Just go watch it. All right, guys, that wraps up my top five favorite shark movies of all time. Be sure to go to the comments below and let me know what your top five are. I know this wasn't a super long video, especially for a ranking video, but you know what? You get what you get. Once again, thank you so much for 20 subscribers. I know it's like nothing, like 20 subscribers is nothing in the general YouTube platform, but for me, it's a big deal. Wow, there are 20 people out there who wanna watch my content. That's really touching to me. So thank you, thank you, a million times thank you. You are the best people ever. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, keep writing, keep shooting, and keep editing.